What's up, guys? TJ here for Kung Fu Night. It is time for more It's Always Sunny. We're on Season 11, Episode 7. Last time we had Frank. Frank's point of view. Frank's life is Frank. Something like that. Uh, I love the first person perspective. Great uh, change for this show. First time they've ever done anything like that. But let's see what they got going on this episode. Leave your comments down below. Link is in the description for Patreon tiers. I'm not going to waste too much time. Let me get right into it. Bill, you got to relax, okay? Uncle Jack and I, we got this case. All right, now, now listen to me. Liam McPoyle is going to come at you hard, all right? But, but I've done my research. This goes well. It's party time. What is that? Is that, is that drugs, Frank? Yeah. You ready for the big show? Yes, good. How you feeling? You good? You do your homework? You yeah. know your talking points? Yeah, I'm good. Mac, why are you here? This is your big day, dude. McPoyle suing Ponderosa? It's huge. It's like the mm. turn of the century. And Frank's got a thing. Dee's got a thing. Dennis has got a thing. Dennis has a thing. What are you talking about? Oh. There's got to be a way to get this court to let me out of my alimony payments. I mean, have you guys seen Maureen? Well, the woman has gone almost full cat. You are not a lawyer. <laughs> Uncle Jack's just got you here handling his papers for him because he can't do it because he's wearing those goddamn big hands over his hands. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. All right, well, either way, this whole thing's going to be a goddamn fiasco, and I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Okay, so we're going to see some bird law. This has got to be about the wedding. Um, when Liam was going to marry Maureen. But it didn't happen because Dennis had sex with Maureen. That's right. Now she's like looking like a cat. What's up with that, though? And hello to you all. A lot of cameos here. I'll be representing Liam McPoyle today. And you'll be dealing with me today. Jack Kelly, lawyer. Good to see you again. <laughs> Look at that. Are those fake hands? What is no. that? What Are those fake hands? You know what? Good luck with all of that today. He always had a weird thing with his hands, man. We have McPoyle versus Ponderosa, seeking damages for the loss of an eye. Family matters? In the form of a one-time payment to the... It does, no, it's not him, but it looks like him. That, that, that dude's gotta be like... He's gotta be much older than what we're Some seeing here. No way it's him, but just there's some similarities. In the form of a one-time payment to the sum of... Two hundred dollars are the plaintiffs Court present. I will that. be representing the plaintiffs, Your Honor. And I just uh, wanted to say I'm very excited to be here, I... uh, Your Honor. And if I may, uh, Charlie Kelly, co-counsel, a uh, background in bird law. Nephew. Uh, yeah, but excited to be uh, in the People's Court and, and a big fan of black judges too. Stop touching me. All I need are the facts to this case. I have a very long day ahead of me, so I'm going to need to keep this thing moving. All right, this is bothering me. <clears throat> IMDb, here we come. Judge Mel Melvoy. Okay, it's him. Reginald Vell Johnson. Hell yeah, okay. That's the man. I thought he'd be like much older, but good for him. What I was gonna say was, okay, so this whole thing is about a loss of an eye. And where are the McPoyles? Not all these McPoyles, but the two important McPoyles. Milk. Spiked with bath salts by this man, Bill Ponderosa, was served to the wedding. It's about guests. the wedding. Okay, okay. But they are saints compared to Bill Ponderosa and the sordid lot of degenerates he associates with. I'll keep it brief. I just have three things to say. One, Liam McPoyle has a history of lying. Look at that finger. Two, my client is a loving family man. And three, he is innocent. It's, yeah, just hear the noise. You were the one that told the police of that the Bill fingers, man. The punch with bath salt. That's correct. But you didn't actually see him do it, did you? No, I did not. You remember me possibly as a man with small hands. Yeah, Look at my you hands think, now. You had small hands. Do you remember that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Here, what here. you remember is false. And when you look at my right hand, I'm gonna you I, I, I'm gonna stop you right now. Are you just gonna talk about your hands for a while? Uh, no, Your Honor. No more questions for the witness. Here is the statement that you gave to police. Bill did it. That goddamn drug addict is out of his mind. I'll testify to that. Have you ever had sex with Bill before? Yeah, 
Yes, sure, because we, we were, we had a... Celebrity. One of his prostitutes, right? Um, I have a receipt for a mink coat recently purchased by a Bill Ponderosa to be delivered to a D. Reynolds. Or the huh. coat was not made of mink at all, but rather made of muskrat. Muskrat? Goddamn muskrat? Are you kidding me, Bill? Okay, you know what? Fine, he spiked it. Do you know what perjury is? Mm-hmm. No, clearly not, because you said one thing, then another, and now you're probably going to go to jail. You guys don't have a bombshell? Oh, my God. Every good case needs a bombshell. I'll find one for you. I'm going to do like a hero cop Mark Furman thing, uh, Mark and Furman. then sort of transition into a Kato Kalen. Yeah, I wish you would do none okay. of it. All right, I wish cool. you'd do none I'm on, of it, man. I'm on. Okay. I'm going to kill you. No, but Charlie, I'm just... Uh, Uncle Jack, put me back on the stand. What? No, we cannot. Are you kidding me? You're lucky to get something. Not for that. Yeah, I know, but I think this could work. I'm going to say I found some bullshit online that proves that lawyer's Jewish. Oh. You know, I wish you guys would just stay out of this. I, I, I did I, 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 A lot of uh, anti... Maureen, Somatic behavior? you are the sister of Bill Ponderosa, and it was at your wedding that Liam got attacked. Yeah. Mm. If the witness wants to consider herself a cat, I will allow it. I just need to know where all this is headed. How is this relevant? Well, it's clearly <laughs> she's rubbing her face on the stand. On all, all right, earlier you you referred to my ex-wife as a cat per her request. Uh, now, surely you wouldn't force a man to pay alimony to a cat, right? So, motion to establish me not having to pay alimony anymore. I will not allow that. This is Robert's Robert's that rules of order. Now, here. now you don't allow something. Now you don't allow something. You'll allow all this. You don't allow that. You know, but you don't. Allow, okay, good. I'm good. Frank, <laughs> did you go to the wedding? What did Ryan say to you when you got to the wedding? I am going to kill Maureen Ponderosa. So. If there's someone to point the finger at, it would be his brother! <laughs> oh my God! And you were upset at the wedding. So it's not crazy for me to ask you this. Ryan McPoyle did you attack your brother at the wedding. Oh, I'm not Ryan. What, you're not? Nope, Ryan. Why are you on the stand? Because you said, his brother and threw your big fake hand at me. Oh, would you happen to know if Ryan stabbed his brother in the eye? Oh yeah, I know. He totally did it. Uh, Uncle Jack, he just confessed. He did? Yes. Yeah, Ryan stabbed Liam. I totally saw it. We won. <laughs> Way to be a good lawyer, Charlie. <laughs> Who did the stabbing doesn't matter, Your Honor, because they were all still drugged. drugged. On Bill Ponderosa spiked milk, which is the point I've been trying to make the entire time. Guys, I got it. You, you got what? Bombshell? The bombshell. What is it, man? I've recently been informed that Ryan McPoyle only drinks mother's milk. Which means... It's in the no boys. He could have drank the milk that Bill spiked. How did you come upon this information? Oh, I banged Margaret McPoyle. Margaret, you carry a picture of mother with you at all times, don't you? Do you mind showing that to the court? Mother is the name of the McPoyle family cow. The cow that provided the milk for the wedding, the milk that was drugged by Bill Ponderosa. Your great-grandmother's last name was Abramowitz. I found it on an Ancestry website. That makes you a dirty liar because you are Jewish. Okay. It came out kind of bad. I, I'm not disgusted by the Jewish part. It's the, it's oh, the God. part that I was talking about. Recess? Oh, God. Just let me do my bird thing. Okay, Bill, I, I want to do the bird thing. Can we just do it? Right, no, let's do the bird You're thing. Good with it now? He's going You're for right. it, huh? Frank, what are you doing, man? Come on, rain it in. I paid for it. I'm going to do it. Your Honor, this is the McPoyle family crest. On it, you will find a bird. You'll notice its trademark unibrow, highly uncommon in most aviary circles. <laughs> Where is this going? I don't know. But it better lead somewhere fast. Now, there was another member of the McPoyle family clan at the wedding the night of the incident. A one Mr. Royal McPoyle. A bird. And my research shows that this particular Pocono swallow has a history of violence. It took Margaret's vocal cords in 1999, leaving her mute. Keith McPoyle lost his eyes and his ears to it in 76. And we all I was know wondering what was, if, why this guy was wearing like a bird headphones or something. What is that? The bird. Ryan McPoyle didn't attack Liam, Royal did. And Lion was lying about Ryan attacking Liam to protect Royal from the chair. <laughs> Listen up, dumb nuts, because it blows a hole in your case. Birds don't drink milk. 
Objection, Your Honor. What does that have to do anything to do with anything? Your Honor, I call Poppy McPoyle to the stand. Hey, I remember him. Poppy McPoyle, patriarch of the McPoyle family. Royal this McPoyle. is where everyone stemmed from. And isn't it true that you never go anywhere without him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clearly, this witness is mentally unwell and cannot answer any of the questions properly. But it's quite all right. I don't have any further questions. Oh, except one more. Didn't the bailiff ask everyone to remove their hats? Why don't I just... <laughs> hey! Your Honor, this is Mr. Belka Mayer. He's a professor of ornithology at the University of Penn. Mr. Mayer, it's safe to professor say you're a bit of an expert on birds. Mr. Mayer, <laughs> I would like you to please talk to the bird and say, Did you attack Liam McPoyle? I can't converse with, with a bird. Well, this is a bit embarrassing, Your Honor. Perhaps this man has lied about his credentials. Perhaps I can get through to it in some way. Kitty! Chase the laser, baby, kitty! <laughs> Your Honor, you've got a man speaking to a bird. Let's just throw everything out here. You people have wasted my oh, time. Shit. You've wasted the taxpayers' time, and this just is all fun and games. Enough. If someone loses, it, loses I an eye. This case out. I should have done it hours ago. Now I suggest that you people get the hell out of my courtroom before I put you all in jail. Looks like he was crying from laughter, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He has like tears coming down. The judge. We have Morgan State Delivery versus the proprietors of One Patty's Pub. Oh, that's us. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, us. that's us, Your Honor. Oh, oh hell no. <laughs> Can't do it again, man. All right, you guys, I gotta go. It was a great episode. Leave your comments down below. Links in the description for Patreon tiers. I will catch you next time. All right, peace.